my name is Elizabeth from Flowers Talk Tivoli, and today I want to talk to you about one of our favorite tulips. We do receive quite a few beautiful novelty tulips from Holland and also from the Niagara region, but we also really enjoy these Vanco tulips that we get from a family-owned farm in PEI. We have a standing order to receive these twice a week. They have um, beautiful greens on them. They're really nice and tall, and we find they really, really do last. And we just love supporting a Canadian family-owned um, farm. And so I'm going to show you, just to make a really simple tulip arrangement, um, tulips do have uh, a shorter lifespan than um, some of the other flowers, but most spring flowers don't, uh, don't tend to last as long. Um, so what you need to do with your tulips is start off with a very clean vase with cold, cold water. So the coldest water that you can get out of your tap, put that in your vase. When you are cutting your tulips and you're putting them in warm water, they will open up more when the water is warm. So you just want to cut off or pull off those lower greens. Most tulips come with two beautiful leaves on them. Just pull off those lower greens. Those are the ones that um, are, uh, tend to flop over or have uh, splits in them. But I really like the, um, the top, the top um, leaves on the tulips. They're just nice and, nice and fresh green. So we get a variety of the different colors come in. We have um, this beautiful, almost like an orangey pink with a bit of white, um, really, really pretty. We do get um, some beautiful dark purple, some light pinks, some bright pinks. Um, of course, the classic white, oranges, yellows. Um, it's always a mixed case when they come in, so it's always a nice surprise. And we carry Banco tulips in our store from January to um, usually Mother's Day is the uh, is the last. We sell them by the bunch. Um, they're twenty dollars a bunch for ten stems, um, just in their plastic. Really, really simple, pretty, and um, we go through a lot of these um, beautiful tulips in the spring. Everyone just feels the need to fill their homes with some spring when the, the temperatures are not so nice out. So I'm almost done here. That was a little floppy. So again, just pulling off those lower greens, making sure those tulips are nice and clean. If when you're pulling off the leaves, if you find there's um, any soil, which is quite possible, just run that under cold water as well to clean those stems so that you don't have a bunch of murky, muddy water in the, um, in the base of your vase. Okay, so I'm just gonna do really simple. I'm gonna make a little bouquet in my hand. Alternating the, the colors of the tulips. And again, pulling off any greens as you're working that you find just not very nice. I like the way the tulips naturally um, kind of flop over a little bit. They've got a mind of their own, that is for sure. Um, you will find that if you place your tulip arrangement in um, a spot where it's really sunny, the tulips will start to grow towards grow towards the sun. So keep them out of a sunny spot, keep them away from a, um, um, a heat source as well. It just shortens the lifespan of the tulips. So I'm just keeping turning and turning this. So once I have a nice balanced shape. Just going to take a really sharp pair of, um, you can use kitchen scissors um, or pruners. Just make sure to give them a really nice clean cut. You can cut your tulips flat across the bottom. Most flowers we suggest cutting on a bit of an angle to open up the stem as much as possible, but um, the tulips are fine to be cut straight across. And then just support the bottom of that, pop that inside. See the way those tulips nice, nicely hang over. Then I'm just going to take my other 
tulips and just pop it in. Maybe playing with the height a little bit as well. And just keep turning your arrangement so that you can see it from all angles. Tulips are one of the only uh, flowers that will continue to grow after it's cut. So these guys will come out and grow a couple more, a couple more inches. I think this is really a nice combination of that two-tone color with the white. And even just one color by itself looks, looks really pretty too. But I don't know if there's anything better than just a nice big vase of tulips in the spring. Look how pretty that looks. And then you don't need to add any greenery tulips. Um, as you can see, have their own beautiful green. Um, but if you wanted to add anything in, you could do a little bit of the lily grass, which is a thicker grass. And just make sure to, uh, <coughs> excuse me, cut the bottoms of those off. And then you can just pop in little pieces here and there. Just and see how it just hangs over really nicely. Just kind of finishes it off a little bit. These look, um, tulips look really pretty with some pussy willow branches in there as well. That is a, a nice complement to them as, as well. The spring, um, spring, I guess, vibe with the pussy willow and the tulips is just really, really pretty. So there you go, really simple, really simple, but I think it has beautiful statement, just massive, um, gorgeous tulips all together. Um, so again, really, really cold water. Make sure to change up that water every couple days, um, refreshing it with cold water. Keep it out of a really bright, sunny spot and just watch those tulips open up and uh, just bring spring into your house. So I hope that you um, will stop by our store, see the beautiful Vankel tulips that we have and help us support a, um, a wonderful um, family owned business in Canada. So we look forward to seeing you at the shop and always head over to our Instagram or our Facebook page. We're always having uh, lots of fun contests and it's very interactive. So take a look at that as well. And we'll see you in the shop.